In this video, I am going to show you how to edit outdoor portrait in Photoshop. So, let's begin this tutorial. So here we are in Photoshop. So now go to file, open and select the image and open this in Photoshop. So this is our photographs. So now I am gonna apply a blur effect to the background. So let's do that. So here is our background layer. Now press Ctrl J to duplicate this layer. And now hide this original background layer as a backup. Okay. Now select the layer one and click off any of the selection tool from here you can go with quick selection tool or any of selection tool and then you can get the select and mask options now click on it now in the opacity decrease the opacity a little bit so that we can see the subject so i think 50 percent is good enough and now take the selection tool from here the first one and start the let's start making the selection of her uh, like this you can make the brush size smaller and bigger by using bracket keys so now make a nice selection of her if you need to delete the selection like this you can select this one the minus selection and you can get rid of it our selection is uh, good but you can see the edges is not is not good enough now you can go ahead and select the refine edge brush the second one and you can refine the edges like this Now once we done, uh, add some little bit of contrast, contrast and some smooth and in the output setting tick these options, decontaminate colors and in the output to new layer. Now hit on OK. Now we have two layers. Uh, this is on our subject and this is the background now let's change the layer name this one model and this one blur b blur and bg for background now hide the model layer for while and select the blur bg background and hold on control and make a click of the model layer now as you can see our model is selected now being the blur background selected go to select modify and expand now expand by 20 pixel hit on ok now right click of your mouse and select fill in this drop down menu select the content error options and hit on ok now go to select and deselect now as you can see this is our model and this is backgrounds in different layer now we can apply the blur effect professionally without any distractive 
Now select the blur background layer and go to filter, blur gallery and tilt shift. Now adjust the slider like this and increase the blur to your liking. I think around 100 blur amount is good enough. Now adjust the slider to make a nice composition. I think that's good enough. Now hit on OK. now our blur effect is completely done now i'm gonna go to apply a snow effect now go to file place embedded and select the snow texture and place this now change the blend mode normal to screen now increase the size of this texture and now i'm gonna go to apply a blur to this now go to filter blur and gaussian blur not too much i think 10 pixel this is too much i think uh, four or five is great so four is good enough for me now hit on ok now i don't want this effect the model face now go to select the snow texture and add a layer mask now take the brush and make sure that the foreground color is black now paint over the face to get of get rid of it so here as well so i think well, that's good enough now our basic editing is done now we'll apply the color effect and the other stuff now press ctrl alt shift e now you have a single layer containing all of the layers below now this is the this is the merged image of everything now this is our layer now go to filter camera or filter Now here is the base basic correction, so I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast and decrease the shadow. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of clarity, not too much. Now add some of vibrance not too much now switch to the camera collaboration here in the red hue increase the hue 100% and the green 100% and the blue decrease the hue minus 100 percent as you can see the color are changing into a cinematic color okay now the red are too much decrease the saturation of red just a bit now that's good enough now switch to the effects and in the post crop begin eating decrease the amount this will make the outside of this image darker and the model focused decrease the amount of post crop begin eating i think minus 30 should be good enough and add some grain to give a vintage feel of this photograph now as you can see the grain is a great in order to vintage feel i think 20 is good enough and the size is 25 and the roughness is 50 now now switch to the tone curve here 
just click here click make a dot here and increase this point to give a faded effect and click here and increase the mid tone I think this is good enough now switch to the HSL and gray cycle in the luminance I'm gonna add a brightness to the her face so select the orange color and increase the luminance as you can see the face are brighten up not too much i think minus 20 around is great now go to the hue i want the green to be more pop up now change the green right side and aqua and the blue now you can see the color is pop up now everything is good enough now hit on ok so our editing is done now make visible the background layer and hold alt and see the before and after before and after so i have thought you would enjoy this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe Thank you.